Howdy folks, Colin and Shreya Lay here of Lay Roots. We're back! Lay Roots is an amazing asset protection law firm. Today we want to talk about privacy or anonymity, specifically mm -hmm. towards real estate and specifically to real estate you already own in your own name. Because yeah. it gets a little... It's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. But mm -hmm. hey, Shreya Lay, before we get there, yes. if you, viewer, have questions about your asset protection plan, setting up your asset protection planning, privacy, anonymity, go to livemorecarefree.com, book a free chat with this young lady here. That's livemorecarefree.com. Yep. Shreya Lay, we People do this. They call us. They want to know. They're like, hey... I want to protect this real estate, and part of that, I want my name taken off all these stupid public databases where anyone yeah. can go online and look at all the stuff you own, where you live, address, For instance, phone number, all we this stuff. just uh, bought a house, and they um, published information online about us. We've been getting these life insurance scam uh, yeah. mail messages yeah. so people don't want that right? right and it's not just you know people looking you up who might want to sue you it's also annoying to get this endless <laughs> stream of of junk but so here's the thing we get calls from mm -hmm. people they their name is on their property they're setting up their real estate as a protection plan and they want their name off and it's not too terribly difficult to get this privacy or anonymity you know it involves one, maybe two entities. Colin, I just want to say I yes, prefer sure. the term privacy over anonymity. Yeah. Yeah. I just I'm just throwing it out there for the for the universe. Okay. <laughs> Private. It's privacy. It's privacy yeah. from the public eye. It's not anim anonymity. Right. Is it because it's harder to say? Is that why? Uh, I mean, there's that aspect to it, but also because someone is gonna know, right? right? Like your mortgage company, we know. We know. Yeah. So it's not completely anonymous. But it's I'm from just the being nitpicky and lawyerly here, I guess. It's from those prying yeah. public eyes. Yeah. Who have exactly. no business knowing who you are. But okay, so say you own your real estate in your name. And it's common that that happens. Shreya mentioned our house. Mm -hmm. We had to buy this real estate in our name. Yeah. If we wanted the best rate and this yeah, you know, yeah. certain loan thing. If we were gonna buy it in a trust in one of our LLCs, it would mm -hmm. be completely different. So we opted to get the better deal. Um, right. So our name's going to be out there, uh, but then we can go ahead and transfer it into a protective entity. Yes. Anyway, getting ahead of myself. Once your name is on attached to this property, mm -hmm. it's going to stay there in the public space. Usually some sort of county records. Yeah, and they publish all that online. Mm -hmm. Other people have started companies where they scrape all that data off the internet and post it on Zillow and the Redfins and, yeah. and all those places. So when you transfer real estate out of your name into an LLC or a, a trust, you take your name off of it. Yeah, and but so like an initial like kind of preliminary search, your name may not come up. Yeah, but there's a history yeah. of you personally owning that real estate. And if people really dig, you know, they're going to see that you transferred it to another entity mm -hmm. for $0. People can figure it out. Yeah. So you're not going to get complete privacy. Mm -hmm. That's why it's important that having this as a protection plan, privacy could just be part of it. You want to make sure that you're transferring that real estate into a protective entity. So I'm right. I'm okay with the fact that our names are going to be on the the deed. They're going because to be on the paper trail. Because our house is still protected. It's still going to be in this protective entity. Um, the equity will be protected. So even if people know um, that we own a home and you know some rough ideas of how much that home might be worth or things like that. Yeah. They can't, um, they still can't get at that equity. So if you want total privacy, mm -hmm. it works when you are acquiring new assets, new real estate. Mm -hmm. You go from the beginning and you, you know, you buy, you close into your private entity. 
Yeah. And then there's no trace of your name. And then mm -hmm. you also have to think about like who's signing paperwork. Is there a mortgage? Yeah. Because they're going to put your name on the mortgage, which is then also a public right. record. So now we're adding more things. It's best if you're buying cash. It's best if you do it from the so beginning. So basically, like if you want that additional privacy, be prepared to put in some work and be prepared that it's going to be more effective for those future assets. Um, and yeah, it's just, it might take a little more time and effort. So you have to... I guess, think about how much is that privacy worth to you and is your true goal the privacy or is it also yeah. just being protected? Because if it's being protected, you can get some like a little bit of privacy and lots of protection without as much work. Well said, Shreya. <laughs> I'll take that protection over total privacy yeah. any day of the week. But man, if it cuts down, I guess you're still going to get the spam letters <laughs> and stuff. It's just going to be in the name of an entity or yeah. whoever you hired to sign paperwork mm -hmm. or convinced to sign paperwork for you. Anyway. Dear blah blah trust. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anything else, Shreya? That was it. I think we covered it. Thank you Ooh. for watching. I don't remember how we end these. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Yeah. Consider Feel free to subscribe. Where? Point to us, right? Subscribe there. And get all the latest videos that yes. come out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.